Hey guys, today we have the all new 2016 Toyota Corolla S Plus in blue crushed meta in combination with steel blue. The new Corolla exterior design is extremely eye catching and when it comes to the interior, the Corolla features enough technology to help you stay connected with everyday activities. The Corolla S offers a piano black grille highlighted by chrome trim which makes it just as aggressive and bold as the rest of the body. With the standard LED headlights which set the stage for a stylish look no matter what time of day or wherever you are it will bright up the road ahead of you. The best part is that the LED comes standard on every model. Furthermore the Corolla LE Eco and the S models are equipped with a rear spoiler that's designed to integrate seamlessly into the bold lines of the rear deck lid. It's not just for show, it also helps you in those spirited drives. The Corolla now allows you to drive in different modes which includes the Sport for a more aggressive ride and the Eco Drive mode for a more fuel efficient ride. The S model also comes with standard shift paddles mounted behind the steering wheel for those who are in the spirit of driving in standard mode. So here's the key fob to the car on there we have the lock, unlock, trunk release button and the panic button in red. Toyota logo on the back. Let's go ahead and unlock it and take a closer look at the interior. You can also unlock the car manually by inserting the key. Here's a quick view of the interior. Back seat. Start the engine, insert the key, and turn. Now to open the hood there's going to be a lever located down here. Simply pull this lever out and this will initially open the hood. And to open the hood fully there's going to be a metal lever located in the center. You have to lift this lever up and raise the uh, hood latch up to hold the hood in place or else it will fall back on you. So under the hood this specific 2016 Corolla S Plus has a 1.8 liter 16 valve 4 cylinder engine that pushes out 132 horsepower at about 6000 rpm and 128 pound foot of torque at around 4400 rpm. It is equipped with the continuously variable transmission with intelligence and shift mode. The Corolla can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just about 8 seconds. Keep in mind this is a front wheel drive vehicle. As for fuel economy, the Corolla S Plus gets 29 miles per gallon in the city, 37 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined it gets 32 miles per gallon. Now that's pretty impressive gas mileages. Up front there's the intermittent windshield wipers. Moving down we have the newly designed front chrome grille surrounded with piano black inserts and the Toyota logo right in the center looks very aggressive and attractive. To help with visibility there's the LED low and high beam halogen headlights, LED daytime running lights and the integrated fog lights at the lower bottom side. Overall this is a very attractive and aggressive new design however it does remind me of the new Camry. Moving over to the side there's the body color side view mirror with power adjustable feature and integrated turn signal light. Side view mirror also have heated power control with manual folding feature. This specific model comes with 17 inch alloy wheels with 215, 45 or 17 tires. And as you can see behind the wheels we have the 4 wheel anti-lock braking system with dynamic brake control. For enhanced visibility, stability control, traction control, brake assist and the smart stop technology. All four wheels are equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system. To the back, first we have the single brake light located behind the rear windshield. Here we have the attractive rear deck spoiler. Looks very attractive and nice. 
The rear is equipped with a pair of eye-catching tail lamps and a rear view camera that automatically turns on when the car is put into reverse. Here's a closer look at the camera. This is a great safety feature to help the driver in backing out and parking. At the bottom, there's the black rear diffuser and the single chrome exhaust tip. And lastly, to distinguish this from other models, there's an S-Batch located on the right hand side. Now for a closer look inside the trunk. Very spacious. We have all the car mats there as you can see. If we lift this up, we have your spare tire along with all the tools. If you ever happen to lock yourself inside the trunk, you can simply uh, push this uh, metal, this yellow lever over to the side to release yourself. Alright, as for the gas tank, the uh, unlock switch is located on the inside and I'll show you where that is in a minute. There it is. The Corolla take uh, unleaded regular gasoline. So that's good on saving money. And we're back on the inside. Here we have the three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel. Looks and feels very nice. Over here we have the different audio modes control, volume control, Toyota logo in the middle with the horn. Here we have the Bluetooth phone answering option along with your voice command option. This display button is used to control the different display on the odometer here. And there's your odometer reset button. Windshield wiper control. We also have the standard uh, gear shift paddle. One on the right and another on the left. Cruise control. Here we have the turn signal along with the headlamps control. Way down here as you notice there's a lever. Lift this down to control the steering wheel placement. You can move the steering wheel up, down, towards you or away from you. And simply push it back up to lock it into place. Here's a driver air vent. As you can see here's the blue trim which looks very nice. Side view mirror control along with the odometer dimmer. driver's sun visor with a small piece of mirror. You can also move this over to the side for better sun coverage. Hand bar on top here. Two additional air vent along with a digital clock in the middle. And here we have the uh, fully touch screen audio display. volume control on this side and press down to turn it on or off hazard light control there and there's where you insert your CD climate control here very basic and simple down here we have your USB along with the auxiliary input beside that we have the 12 volt core charger storage compartment and here's our gear shift. Just push your foot down the brake, move it down to R to put the car into reverse. Now when you do so, the rear view camera will automatically display here. However, with the guided lines, the guided line does not turn according to the steering wheel. Put it all the way down to D and push it over to the left to put the car into standard mode. And you can simply push up or down to change gears or use the uh, gear shift paddles on the steering wheel here to change gears. Right. Here we have the uh, sport driving mode control. It will also display on the uh, odometer letting you know that you're in the sports mode. Next to that we have the traction control. And two cup holders which you can easily remove the center piece for easy cleaning. And here's our manual uh, parking brake. Let's check out the meter armrest compartment. Here's the top part. 
in the larger bottom portion again pretty basic glove box compartment with the user manual on the inside and here to show you a complete view of the dash moving up we have the uh, rear view mirror also you can adjust it manually light control and that's pretty much it now let's see what we have on driver's side door four power window control only the driver's side is automatic door lock and unlock button with the window lock button on top side door cup holder there's your brake and gas pedal hood release lever again and here's your trunk release lever along with the uh, gas tank release cap manual driver seat control this is to roll the seat forward or backwards here's a closer look at the seat fully adjustable seat belt placement here's a closer look at the back seat power window control there side door cup holder Again, I'm five foot seven, so this will give you a better idea of how much leg space you'll have sitting in the back. Back seat storage there, only on one side. And here we have two additional cup holders for the back. Here's a complete view of the front for sitting in the back. two more cup holders so it give us a total of four cup holders seat belt is pretty smooth here's a close up of the seat and you can also pull this knob up to fold down both uh, back seat light control on top And on both sides we have the handboard.